Greetings everyone. Uh, in this video, I will be covering of uh, linear programming. Uh, this is uh, for NCE level 3. Uh, so some of the skills that will be demonstrated in this video will be uh, linear programming processes and steps, uh, graphing in equations uh, using decimals, um, obtaining a feasible region and then uh, finding the uh, optimal solution. So linear programming is a procedure to achieve the best outcome such as uh, maximum profit, or minimum uh, cost in a mathematical model whose uh, requirements are represented by linear relationships. Now it is also known as uh, mathematical optimization, so uh, the uh, problems will be around uh, finding the minimum or uh, maximum. So we'll be using the uh, linear program processes to uh, find the uh, feasible region. Now feasible region is uh, obtained by graphing the inequations and it is represented uh, by the area or region that satisfy all constraints. Now these um, constraints are the uh, restrictions. So we will be using uh, inequalities to uh, uh, represent these uh, restrictions. And uh, the vertices and values within the feasible region, uh, but not always limited to integer values, are used to find optimal solution. Uh, so in this case, it could be maximizing a profit. It depends on the context. So uh, if the uh, context is around uh, discrete data, which uh, takes integer values, then uh, you will need to uh, look for the uh, uh, integers uh, that will give the optimal solution. For example, if you're looking at car sales and you're maximizing car sales, then the number of cars sold cannot be a decimal number. So in that context, you'll be looking for the whole number of values. Um, the objective function is the one that you will be um, given and you'll be asked to use that to uh, maximize or minimize. It depends on what the question is uh, asking you to. So here are the uh, processes for linear programming, the steps that you will need to take. So first thing uh, you will need to is you'll need to define the variables. And then uh, you'll need to write a system of inequalities. Now these uh, inequalities uh, will depend on the constraints that are given. And uh, also you will need to look at the non-negativity uh, restriction, uh, which indicates uh, that all decision variables must take on values equal to or greater than uh, zero. For example, if the context is about car sales, we already know that we cannot have negative number of uh, car sales. So it will be... Uh, uh, equal to or greater than zero. So that's what uh, this uh, bit represents here. Then uh, you need to write the objective function. Now this objective function is the one that you will be uh, maximizing. And then of course you will need to graph the uh, system of inequalities. In this video I will be using uh, Desmos, uh, which is an online graphing tool. So we will be looking at that. And then you will need to identify the feasible region which is very easy to see uh, on Desmos, and then find the coordinates of the vertices, uh, which we will be using to substitute uh, in the objective function uh, that you are either minimizing or are maximizing. Um, you could uh, substitute in every value within the feasible region, but the uh, maximum or minimum will always be the one uh, on the vertices. Um, and uh, then you will need to uh, look at the, uh, the greatest or least amount and uh, answer the uh, problem in context. So what you need to do is uh, when you're forming uh, inequalities, you will need to look for keywords uh, such as at least, at most, etc. And in this table, I've given you um, a list of keywords that are commonly used in a word problem and I would suggest uh, you to pause the video and uh, take notes as you go because these key phrases uh, uh, will be uh, in your assessment uh, some of these key phrases will be in your assessment and it's important to know which inequality symbol is associated with uh, each of those phrases so we'll uh, have a look at uh, the first example here a local bakery uh, uh, bakes uh, two types of breads uh, multi-grain bread and uh, pita bread uh, one batch of multi-grain uh, bread uses five kilograms of oats and uh, three kilograms of flour and uh, one batch of pita bread uses uh, two kilograms of oats and uh, three kilograms of flour uh, bakery has 180 kgs of oats and uh, 135 uh, kilograms of uh, flour available. Uh, 
uh, bakery wants to maximize its uh, profit from bread sales so in this case um, you are finding the um, uh, maximum because they do want to maximize profit uh, and then it says uh, one batch of multi-grain bread yields a profit of uh, 40 dollars and uh, one batch of uh, pita bread yields a profit of uh, 30 dollars uh, find how many batches of each bread the bakery uh, should bake and sell to maximize its uh, profits so what you need to do now is uh, you will need to decipher this information and form a system of inequalities uh, using these uh, constraints given. Uh, so what I have done here is I've created a table that uh, displays the information that was given in uh, context. So we'll uh, define the variable. So let X be um, multigrain bread uh, from one batch and Y is the uh, pita bread uh, from uh, one batch. And the objective function, so in this case we are maximizing uh, profit and it's given by 40x plus 30y 40 dollars is the uh, profit from uh, multi-grain bread sales and uh, 30 dollars is uh, from pita bread so we'll put that together so 40x plus uh, 30y and uh, then of course we will um, form systems of um, in equations in this case uh, outs uh, we had uh, 5x plus 2y will always be less than equal to 180 because that's the um, total that's available likewise for flower we have uh, 3x plus 3y is less than equal to 135 and of course non-negativity uh, constraints in this case um, x is always greater than equal to zero right so we can have at least zero for uh, multi-grain bread and at least uh, zero for pita bread uh, that's uh, baked. So what we need to do next is uh, we will graph these uh, inequalities using Desmos. Uh, you can do it um, uh, freehand sketch uh, using a slope intercept form, but uh, of by finding the x intercepts and y intercepts. But uh, we'll just quickly use uh, Desmos uh, online graphing tool. If you go online uh, desmos.com, uh, you'll uh, see the Desmos. Um, online graphing tool so what we'll do is we'll just it's pretty straightforward we just um, enter the uh, inequalities here so we had uh, 5x uh, plus uh, 2y was less than equal to so just over on this uh, keyboard so it was less than equal to uh, 180 and you can see it has uh, plotted that and then we had uh, 3x plus uh, 3y was uh, less than equal to 135 All right. and then uh, we had non-negativity uh, constraints x was uh, x is uh, always greater than equal to uh, 0 and uh, y is greater than equal to 0 because we sh we cannot have negative number of uh, breads uh, being baked so that's what it means once i've entered the constraints then i will uh, zoom uh, quickly zoom uh, out to uh, see the uh, feasible region and uh, as you can see in this case here so i can easily get the uh, vertices by clicking on these as you can see here so uh, identify the uh, feasible region and uh, click on those um, points to get this so, so I've got these uh, four uh, vertices which I'll be using in the objective function to uh, see which one gives the uh, maximum uh, profit so this is uh, shading in I could have used the uh, shading out and I'll quickly show you uh, what I mean by shading out shading out is uh, uh, the sections that you don't need so you will have to do um, exact opposite to this. Quickly reverse these signs. So I'll flip that. Um, so that's what I don't need. So I will change this to greater than equal to, just so you can see the uh, feasible region. So I know it has to be greater than equal to zero. So I don't need anything below zero. And this one here, I don't need those. And uh, then if I look at this here, it's very easy for you to uh, see where the feasible region is. So this is unshaded because we did shading out. So uh, sometimes it's easier for you to use shading out. So what you will need to do is just reverse the inequalities here to um, 
get the unshaded bit which will represent the uh, feasible region and then you just click on these uh, uh, points of intersection so uh, places where the lines cross and that will give you the vertices for uh, the uh, feasible region so what we will do next is we'll use these vertices and see which one gives the maximum profit in this case once you've um, identified the feasible region uh, using either of the methods. So this is the method, uh, first method I showed you uh, on uh, decimal shading in. Uh, you could have uh, used uh, shading out as the second method if you find that it's easy to see the uh, uh, feasible region. Of course, it's easy in this case. It's unshaded region. So what I did was I just reversed the uh, inequalities. So um, once I've got these uh, vertices uh, identified, then uh, I will use the objective function. Objective function was 40x plus 30y, so $40 uh, profit from multigrain and uh, $30 from pita bread. So um, I've already filled in this table, so I'd suggest if we could pause the video and uh, do it yourself and see if your answers uh, match with this one. So vertices. Is, uh, with 0, 0, 0, 0, 45 and so forth and uh, I'm just replacing those in the uh, objective function to get the uh, corresponding uh, profits here so zero dollars uh, one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars and so forth and you can clearly see that um, one thousand six hundred and fifty dollars was the maximum profit and then what you need to do is uh, you need to write a sentence because the question says find how many batches of each bread the bakery owner should uh, bake and sell to maximize its profit so you write a sentence answering the question now so a local bakery owner should bake and sell 30 batches of multi-grain uh, bread and uh, 15 batches of pita bread to maximize his profit and then uh, this will give him a maximum profit of uh, 1650 dollars right so you can see um it's a process actually if you get the constraints incorrect then of course you will get the wrong uh, feasible region uh, using desmos is uh, pretty straightforward as i have shown you in this video uh, to achieve you will need to demonstrate um, uh, at least two skills towards uh, solving a problem that's presented in context um, in the next video uh, what i'll do is i'll look at uh, another example i uh, hope you find this uh, helpful Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.